What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 10 video. I'm devastated, I just got this amazing game and found out that I was not recording. I'm so upset. Anyways, let me fill you in on everything I said to absolutely no one because I wasn't recording. The other day, the CEO of Beast Coast said, hey, VGC community, make me a viable Skuntank team and I'll send you some limited edition Beast Coast merch or I'll make you some. And I was like, alright, hold up, is this the job for me? Thwack, my buddy from Chicago, said, yeah, no, this is you. So, I decided to take on the challenge. I might not live on the East Coast, but I'm probably moving to Boston this summer for my career in physics. Um, and, yeah, I need to make some connections now. So, what did I do? I made a Skuntank team. We'll get, into that. we'll get into what this team does in a minute, but before we do, do me a favor, leave a like in the video if you enjoyed at any point in time, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. And answer my comment question of the day, what is your favorite poison type in this format. I actually don't know. I think Nihiligo is probably my favorite. I'm probably missing one that I just forget as poison. Like I love Venusaur, right? But I don't really count it as poison, <laughs> even though it's like very obviously poison, but it's just, it always felt like a grass type. Like I never really considered the poison half of it growing up. I was like, oh yeah, Venusaur's poison type? I forgot. But yeah, let's uh, talk about the team. So Skun Tank. Tank. This part of its name is a lie. Anyways, uh, 103 HP is very tanky, but its defenses are so bad. 67, 61, middling stats all around, it's garbage. So whenever I need to make a Pokemon work in this format, I say, okay, what do I do? Uh, make it live a hit from Zacian Crown, make it live a hit from Xerneas, maybe have some kind of contingency plan for Calyrex Shadow, and you're good, and then you have a good Pokemon. That's literally it. So it worked for Wizcash, it's going to work for Skuntank here. This guy lives plus one Behemoth Blade from Zacian Crown. Burning Jealousy is great for burning it, since on turn one you actually are able to still do that. Um, it is able to tank a plus two Timid Boom West from Xerneas, go for a Snarl or a Poison Jab. Poison Jab's a roll for a two hit KO, likely a three hit KO. If I get a Poison, it's two hit KO, obviously. And Faint is just a really nice support move that actually came in handy. I'm going to go ahead and replay this battle, because I'm devastated that I wasn't recording. Watch. Watch. Instant replay. Let me, let me commentate this one for you guys. Also, leave a like. Please leave a like. 200 likes. Thank you. So I lead off Zacian Skuntank, because I'm like, there's no way he's not leading off with his own Zacian here, right? Well, um, I'm like, okay, I can go for the Burning Jealousy. There's no reason not to. Let's go ahead and do that. Go for my, uh, or I go right into Incinera for the minus one on the Zacian, and they protect. I go for my Burning Jealousy. Doesn't hit the Zacian, but now he knows. Now he knows that this thing is a threat. So what do I do? Okay, you got a Lele on your team. I'll go ahead and I'll just call the Lele to come in, and I'm going to go for a Snarl Parting Shot, and just absolutely neuter that Lele before it gets a chance to do anything. Lele comes in, Incineroar, also it was psychic Seed for some reason. Uh, I go for the Snarl with my Skun Tank, Parting Shot out with the Incineroar, calling that they wouldn't want to block a Fake Out. I go right into Rillaboom. All of the offensive pressure on this Gastrodon is insane. I could have gone for Faint into Grassy Glide, but I said no, no, no. We're going for the big bucks here. We're going for the big bucks. I am not about to lose this opportunity. So what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Can you stop doing animations? What do I do? I call the Zacian switching and I go for Burning Jealousy. It's at this moment that the match is just completely over. Go for my Wood Hammer. Instant KO because we're running a really bad Rillaboom set. It's Miracle Seed because the Assault Vest was taken. <laughs> and I burn the Zacian. I bur you should have heard my live commentary. I'm so upset that I wasn't recording this. Anyways, the match is essentially over. I just have to cycle in Incineroar. Um, they go for the Sacred Sword and the Skun Take. They do like nothing. Flamethrower does like nothing. And I'm like, okay, hold on. There's one last flex I can go for here. There is one final flex I can go for. I know your Zacian's burned and it's not doing any damage. But you're not going to let me fake out for free, are you? You're not going to let me Flare Blitz for free. My final tech. Call the Protect. Go for the Faint. <laughs> Kill this thing with a Flare Blitz. Sludge Wave does like negligible damage because Skun Tank helped out a lot. And there it goes. The rest of the match is just a clean sweep. Like, honestly, like, I just Skuntank carried that whole match. But let's go ahead and get a real battle. Now that I've shown off one good game, it's time to lose everything else in this live. Time to sh time to just lose everything else. Also, you might notice we have a new um, showdown skin. This is actually sent to me uh, from Mafui. I believe that's how you pronounce it on Discord. I don't know how to credit you other than your, than your Discord tag. So if you want to do me a favor and uh, comment down below, Mafui. I'd appreciate that. I'll, I'll heart your tweet, and if you want to share a link to download this, uh, I'll be sure to spread the word. As we actually see a pretty bad matchup. This is a garbage matchup for me. Like, everything just beats me. Um, wow, this is really bad. This is really, really bad. Oh, I'm scared. 
I can technically just lead off Incineroar, and Skunk Tank isn't terrible, I just have to be really careful. Urshifu, Rillaboom is probably my best bet. I don't think I ever bring Zacian to this matchup, funny enough, just because Zacian, like, gets walled by everything. This is gonna be weird. It's gonna be a weird matchup. Alright, whose is faster? Um, the opposing Incineroar is faster, likely. Likely faster. I can go ahead and... Hmm. I can try to fake out as Incineroar, hope that it's a speed tie. Doesn't really make a difference. Oh, it is a speed tie. We're running the exact same spread. <clears throat> Get my Snarl off. I don't have Taunt on this Incin. I don't know why you'd go for Trick Room there, to be honest. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll Parting Shot this Incineroar, assuming they're just going to Parting Shot as well. And I can go ahead and... Yeah, they're just going to Parting Shot here. I don't see why you would stay in. I'll also Poison Jab into it. Assuming it's going to go into, like, Groudon, I wouldn't mind a Poison. Come on, you know you want a Parting Shot. And please win the Speed Tie now. I'd love to get the second one. I'd love to get the second Parting Shot. Come on. They Flare Blitz. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. Uh, I'll get into my Urshifu here. And they really should be going for a Will-O-Wisp here, which I assume they have. Um, I can go ahead and Protect. Actually, there's no way you're running Protect on this thing, right? I'm going to make a really hard read. Go into your Rillaboom. Don't have will o but go into your Rillaboom. Feel free to go into the Rillaboom, please. Please go Rillaboom. <laughs> uh, I believe Groudon, because of the sun being out, it would take more from... Oh, I should have just Surging Striked. Gravity, don't burn. Please, Urshifu, don't burn. It's only one point of contact. It's only one point of contact. Don't burn. Okay. Alright, we're good. So he's going to go for Hypnosis, right? This thing gets Hypnosis, I'm pretty sure. Go hard into my Incineroar here. Snarl up. Does Dusclops get Hypnosis? I'm not sure. Oh, he's going into Groudon. Okay, that makes sense. Snarl up. Goes to the Heat Wave. Doesn't do anything. Does, like, nothing. Um... I should just be able to Parting Shot into the Groudon. And go hard into my Rillaboom. Because they should follow me. Or Rage Powder here. As they decide not to Rage Powder. Which is a little scary. I'll just go right back into the Skun Tank. I should tank this hit at minus one. It's going to be really close though. Alright, yeah. That was very, very close. That was scary close. Uh, the sun is out. The guns are out. And I'm scared. I think my Surging Strikes might do it from this range on the on the Volcarona. I'm going to Protect. And Fake Out. I, please don't get burned. Please don't get burned. Dang it! Okay, no, that's not, that's not happening. I lost, I think. Yeah, and I got burned. Yeah, I should be running Protected Pads if I'm going to be clicking moves like that. Good game. Good game. I got an 8 on. I knew this was a bad matchup going in, but I, I, you know, I was hoping I could do a little bit better. Everything got burned by Volcarona, though, so. <laughs> Alright, interesting. Calyrex Shadow Rider, this is actually, like, the matchup. This is, like, the matchup for this team. Uh, I can lead off uh, Skuntank and Cineroar. Definitely want Zacian in the back here, and I think my last Mon's gonna go ahead and be... I could be Regieleki, honestly, but I think Rillaboom's a little bit better for getting rid of Terrain. And just my priority moves seem really nice here. I suppose I could also make a case for my Urshifu, because it helps out versus the Entei. So I'm going to lead off like this. I suppose I could also just lead off Skuntank, Urshifu, bring Incineroar in the back, and then Zacian. I don't really need the Rillaboom. It's not like Expanding Force hits anything except for my, um, <laughs> except for my uh, Urshifu, so I'm not too concerned. They go Whimsicott, Entei. Q 
Can Poison Jab protect here? Because I think they might just Moonblast. And Poison Jab in a faint should KO as long as they don't go into Lele or anything. Because they could like Extreme Speed plus Moonblast if they had it. I don't think they have Extreme Speed in this thing though, because terrain. So they do Stomping Tantrum. I actually get the Poison KO, which is nice. Dang, he's upset. I mean, like, I could have just fainted anyways. I might do that next turn just as a, as a slight flex. Slight flex, you know. Something I notice is they also... I mean, if it's Urshfu Water, I suppose that, that would work for beating Incineroar. It has to be Urshfu Water, right? There's no way you're not running Urshfu Water on this team. Hmm... I don't tank this hit from the Entei, and I also don't take an Astral Barrage. It's going to be really annoying. I kind of have to go for the Snarl, since Entei would go second to get KO'd by that, and they might double my Urshifu. They mud shot me. Okay, uh, I can live with that. Yeah, I should just be able to snarl here. Um, gonna go into Zacian, go for my Protect. I can also try to call them, calling my Protect, which would be a really nice play for me now that I think about it. This is really risky, but I'm gonna go for it. You should call my Protect here. There's no way you don't. If you call to protect with Urshfu, you should call protect on Zacian. Yeah, there we go. Stomach tantrum me, I don't care. Awesome. Goodbye. And this thing is pretty much done. I mean, like, I just protect and I win. It's ditto. Ooh, okay, that could be a little bit of an issue. I definitely just want to go for the double protect here. I can get rid of Entei next turn, bring in my Incineroar for an Intimidate. Kind of wish I was Sash on this thing now. Alright. Close combat makes sense, makes sense. They're locked into close combat now, which is awesome. Um, they can't protect their Entei here. I should just always Surging Strikes here and hope that they're slower. Don't get the burn, please. Okay, no, I'm faster, so I win. That should just be a win. And I should always double attack. Yep. GG. Nice. Alright. So far, not awful. Not awful so far. Ooh, okay, no. Look at their answers for Skunting. They have one. They have one. But beyond that, it's going to be kind of crazy. It's going to go kind of crazy here. I can lead off uh, Urshifu Skuntank. Definitely feeling the Incineroar in this game, but I have to be really careful with that thing. Actually, I think I go Zacian over Incineroar and uh, Rillaboom, now that I think about it. Now that I think about it. I guess I could have also gotten Incineroar. It wouldn't be too difficult. Whew. Yawning. Okay. Let's go Raichu Volcarona. That is a pretty free Snarl. Yeah. Pretty free snarl, protect. You always have to fake out there. Stop you from doing anything. Awesome, awesome. Uh, one would assume that they would just Thunderbolts here. 
I'm pretty ready and willing to give up this Rillaboom. I could also Poison Jab and get in Rillaboom, and that might KO the Raichu, or at least send it in range of like... I think I just Snarl again, yeah. Snarl, go Rillaboom. Yeah. Electroweb, that's fine, that's fine. They're gonna win the Fake Out War, um, but I think I'd go for the Raichu KO early. Because Raichu is a little bit more difficult to deal with than this Rillaboom is. Alright, don't burn yourself, Rillaboom, please. <sighs> every time. Every time. Alright. I'm going to keep Snarling, and I'm going to U-turn here. It's the Raichu. Going to Urshifu. This time I call them going for the fake out onto my Skun Tank. And I am ready and willing to burn my Urshifu for this KO. Ready and willing to burn my Urshifu to get this KO. As long as they don't get burned on the first... As they don't call it. I was going to say, as long as I don't get burned on the first one, I'm fine. I'm going to protect now. Yeah. Volt Tackle, interesting. Can I do anything here? I can go into my my Rillaboom and Poison Jab. Assuming they just do something like that again, yeah. Take the Volt Tackle pretty easily. KO them. Get back in the Urshifu. Assuming that they are going to fake out the Skun Tank now, because of how annoying it's been, I have to make this call still. I hate that I have to make this call. Fake out the Skun Tank. Come on. Ah, dang it, man. Just make the read once. Once, please, I'm begging you. On the bright side, nothing's really threatening to my Skun Tank. Should be in range of two Poison Jabs, so I'll protect now. Yep. And I get a nice little poison there from my troubles. Should be able to snarl, go into Zacian. I shouldn't lose my Mon here. Because they are at minus one. As they Quiver Dance. Awesome. I really don't mind that as long as I can keep this thing from like setting up too long. Or too much, I should be fine. So I'm going to snarl again, go for a Protect. I can also sub, but that's a little that's a little greedy. So you turn out probably gonna go into Eveltal as they have Nido King. That's uh fine by me. I should be able to KO Nido King like right here. I could faint as well. I think my play is to faint calling the protect. Yep, I'm gonna get this Nido King from them. As long as they don't crit, I KO. Nice, no burn. Hey, get that forfeit. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. We got to show the uh, the Skun Tank tech there. This one's pretty interesting. Xerneas, Trick Room, Jinx, two fire types. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on here, but I feel like I should lead off pretty aggressively to make sure nothing crazy happens. Skun Tank looks phenomenal in this matchup. It really does. Um, I'll go Skuntank, Incineroar. I could also go Skuntank, Zacian, just to be really aggressive. Bring Incineroar in the back. And I think my Urshifu is going to be really nice here as well. So there's the Jinx Entei lead. One would assume the Snarl's pretty much free here. Jinx get faint? I don't know what that command is. I always forget. Whoops. Alright. Dang it. Why am I so bad at using this mouse? I got a new mouse, by the way. It doesn't get faint. Okay. Um, My play here is to snarl, protect them. Dang, they actually landed that. That sucks. 
My play is to Snarl, go Incineroar, and hope they don't land it. Also, I think that reveals Scarf. No, it's naturally faster. Awesome. Uh, please don't land that. Please just don't. I'll double Snarl. That's fine. Please wake up. That sucks. Okay. Get that Snarl off. I feel like Skuntank's still really important in this matchup, but I'm not sure how. Uh, logic would have it that my play here is going to be to hope that I just wake up and double Snarl. Actually, I should Parting Shot that Entei. Yep. Going to go into Urshifu here, who should take one move from this thing. You, yeah, if it's Earth Power, that's fine. And I think that thing's in range of close combat, even if it's kind of close. Let me check something. Let me check something. What's Entei's physical bulk? 115, 85 as compared to Urshifu. 100, 100. I think this KOs. From this range, it should at the very least. I have to go Incineroar. Kind of have to go Incineroar here. I'm going to go ahead and Flare Blitz Protect. Yep, that should get rid of this Jinx. Not quite. Eh, Dry Skin, thank you. I was pretty much calling that they would want to switch in for something there. Um, and now my play is actually going to be to Snarl and deal with this Torkoal first. Should put me in like an okay position. Lower the damage output a bit. Hopefully, oh, I already ate my citrus. That kind of sucks. And I also got a special defense drop. That sucks. Dang it. Uh, let me think. 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 Very clearly, the Urshifu is more important here. I'm gonna protect and try to live this. Okay. D-Gleam, that's fine. I'm gonna say here, I'm not in Moonblast range, but I am in Entei range, and they should just Dazzling Gleam me. I have a higher chance of winning if I just Behemoth Blade here and sack my, my Mon and go into Incineroar. Yeah. Ah, they're faster. They're Scarf Entei. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, GG. I was really hoping they weren't Scarf because the uh, Jinx was naturally faster, but yeah. Uh, I would have won there had that not been Scarf, but that's just how the game is. Oh, that is not what I meant to queue up with. Alright. This is interesting. Like, really interesting. What do you do? What? All right, one, two, three, four rock types, but it's also not a theme team because they have two non-rock types. What is the idea here? There's like no reason not to lead off Zacian. I'm just gonna put that out there. And Incineroar, like I fake out Behemoth Blade to stop Trick Room, like it's, it feels very safe to do that. Uh, beyond that, Rillaboom looks really nice because they all, except for this guy, are weak to it. And I suppose I can go Skuntank just for flavor. All right. It's probably gonna be a bit of a shorter video. This might be my last battle. I wonder what they're gonna do. Because obviously they're just going to set up Trick Room. Like, everything on this team wants to be in Trick Room. But, like, this team's so Zacian weak. Like, what's their game plan there? It's also very Rillaboom weak. They have, like, two switch-ins to it. And they're not even switch-ins. They just take neutral damage. Like, Woodhammer is just absurd in this match. Yeah, that's, that's fine. There's no reason not to just do this. I like always get a KO here, unless you protect. 
which you don't have any way of blocking the fake out, and you're definitely not Scarf Tyranitar, so this is like safe. I'm also gonna close combat here because it's a lot safer than going for Behemoth Blade. Pretty sure Behemoth Blade knocks out, but eh, scared. <laughs> Just in case they like max defense Babiri. There we go. Okay. It's Calyrex Ice. Um, can't think of a reason not to double here. I think this thing drops to one Behemoth Blade technically, so I could just parting shot the Rhyperior as well. Yeah. I'm gonna go into my uh, Rillaboom here. Awesome. High horsepower doesn't KO because of the parting shot. And that's just game. Like really, it's just game. I'll do I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Just because I want to get like one more skunk tank game in there, you know? Because it doesn't look like we actually get to use Skuntank in this match. Yeah, there's Tapu Finny. Um, yeah, no, good game. GG. All right, let's try one more Skunt Tank match. All right, uh, not a terrible Skunt Tank match. Landorus Eye is pretty annoying. Yeah, this is a pretty bad Skunt Tank match. Win or lose, we're gonna bring it though. One last little showcase. I can lead off with it pretty safely. Doesn't seem like an awful idea. Can also lead off uh, Urshifu. Definitely want my Rillaboom in this match. And I'm gonna bring the Zacian. It feels weird not bringing Incineroar, but it's the price to pay for using Skunt Tank. It's gotta live with it. Okay. Uh, I can go ahead and Poison Jab this Milotic for damage and go for a Protect. They should fake out me. So they don't fake out. Hmm. That damage. Fortunately, no Poison. I'm gonna go ahead and I should be able to U-turn out of here, but I'm gonna get freaking attacked, so I'll, I'll poison jab this Rillaboom and go Rillaboom. And then on my next turn, what I'm gonna do is hopefully just go for a feint into a wood hammer for that quick KO. Don't drop my accuracy. Awesome. Took a bit of damage there. They go Incineroar. I get my poison. Poison jab again. Uh, my fake out is faster, but I did take a lot of damage there. I'll fake out. Eh, do I really? Do I really fake out there? I think I go Urshifu. It's a little safer. I could U-turn and stuff, but... I don't want to have to play fake out 50-50s. Yeah, I could have done that. Flare Blitz does, like, no damage. Poison, please? Incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. Got that. Uh, and now what I can do is... I'm gonna double into this slot. There's really no safe switch they can make into close combat plus poison jab. Like Zacian technically, but it still doesn't like it. As they should just be giving up the Rillaboom here, I think. Or it'll be close. It'll be a pretty close knockout. Eh, it's just barely gonna live because of those attack drops. Poison? Nah, okay. Uh here it is in my best my best interest just to protect and poison jab again. I mean, they could fake out me. So far, they've been calling that, like, perfectly. You know what? They've been making reads. They've been making reads. Did they grassy glide me last time? That's going to help me decide here. They just U-turned. Yeah, no. Uh, I'm going to faint in surging strikes. Incredible. They didn't grassy glide. Give me whatever comes in. Like, you have no switch-ins. Like, even, even Zacian isn't good. Awesome. If Zacian comes in here, I'm gonna go ahead and just go hard into Rillaboom and I'm actually gonna go for a Burning Jealousy. All right, 
I have to go for it. Burning Jealousy. Actually, I think I keep the Rillaboom. And I just protect here. Yes, I think I get it off. Don't KO. Don't KO. Don't lower my accuracy. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Wait, what? Did that not work? Excuse me? I got it on the turn it switch. Oh wait, that's only on the turn. I'm stupid. I'm a sussy baka. I'm, I'm a sussy baka. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna let both of these mons go down now because I, I messed up. <laughs> uh, I think I still burning jealousy just for the chip on the Zacian and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this guy go down. I can try the surging strikes, but. Ooh, okay, no, I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take the damage. This is actually really nice damage. One, two, three, and now I got that fake out pressure. Hello? Hello? Goodbye? Yeah, um, I should always be able to grassy glide here. I can also try to wood hammer. I think I win with my Zacian. If I make one very hard read, but it's not worth it. Gonna go down. Incredible. And I don't protect her. I never protect her. Because if I protect and they call it, I lose. I lose. I can also wood hammer. I think I just double attack the Zacian. That's like my best bet. I can also try the substitute. And that would net me just as much of a chance of winning as going for an attack. Actually, no, I think I always protect, unfortunately. Grassy Clyde should KO from this range. Fake out. Yeah, I could have done it. Could have done it. Could have, should have, would have. Actually, no, I think I just win anyways. You're within, you're within Grassy Clyde range, right? I think I have to U-turn. I don't know if it's within Grassy Glide range. Like, honestly, I have to U-turn. That sucks. And I kind of want to protect, calling them to just attack me. Could also substitute. But that's, that's stingy. Win the speed tie. Awesome, won the speed tie. Might be able to pull something off here. They get a crit. I don't know how much that mattered. <sighs> Dang it. Okay, crit. Yeah, I was I was really close to winning there. I, I just had to like have the guts to actually make that play. But I did not have the guts. That's fine. Not my most successful showdown live, but a fun one nonetheless. If you guys enjoyed, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.